had a patient who was on the second strongest drug. It's called Ticacin or Dofetilide. They're the same drug. And this drug is a very powerful drug. It's the second strongest drug we have to keep AFib asleep. So you can probably suppress like four out of the six walls worth of AFib, meaning up until you have AFib on four out of the six walls, waking up 70 to 80% of the time, it's probably going to keep your AFib mostly asleep. Now, this patient probably got started when he had three walls worth of AFib. He was in it 50% of the time. They put him on the Ticacin and it was keeping everything asleep. But then let's say his AFib progressed as he got older and now it was at four and a half walls. And without the drug, he'd probably be in AFib 80% of the time. But on the drug, the drug was still partly working and it was still keeping some of the AFib asleep. So he was breaking through 20, 30% of the time, not 80% of the time. So he went to an electrophysiologist who did a simple one wall ablation, pulmonary vein isolation or PVI, the one wall. And that just wasn't enough. I mean, the patient had four and a half walls worth. He did one walls worth, but he did make it smaller. It's like making the forest fire smaller, turning it back to an earlier stage. So he maybe, if you think about it in terms of walls worth of AFib, he maybe got him from four and a half walls to say three and a half walls, from 80% to maybe 60%. Now, had he stopped all drugs to keep the AFib asleep, the patient's AFib would have been still waking up 50, 60% of the time. But he kept him on that second strongest drug, the Ticacin, to keep the remainder of the AFib asleep. And it was more effective because if the drug can suppress 70% worth and he had 80% worth of AFib, so it was breaking through, but now after the ablation, he has maybe 60% worth of AFib. Well, that drug can suppress 70% worth. So it was strong enough to keep his AFib completely asleep for about a year. But remember, when you turn the clock back with an ablation, whatever stage you turn it back to is the stage you're going to form AFib cells from because AFib is a progressive problem. As you get older, you're always forming it. 